Okay, so now I'm going to tell you about the different types of nappies that there are. Um, I don't have all of them, but I've got, you know, the main basic ones. So I'll just tell you about those so you know the difference and what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so this is an all-in-one, which is the one I gave you. They're pretty much, that means they're like the easiest to use, the closest to a disposable. Uh, basically means that the insert is attached into the thingy, the outer layer of it. So you literally just stuff it in and that's that, <coughs> which are the easiest to use. But obviously because it's just the one thing, it's not as absorbent as when you use the different types. <coughs> so this one is a pocket nappy which is quite a popular choice I use them with Teddy but I just find that these ones are a lot easier and quicker to put on and sometimes I just can't be bothered with these ones especially with the washing and stuff so basically with a pocket you get a pocket which is this which is just an empty shell it's literally just the fleece and the, the pull inside which is like the waterproof bit here like feels plasticky so that's just empty, so when you buy that you need to get inserts to stuff it with. There's like a load of different types of inserts you can get, uh, but the ones I use are microfiber and bamboo. Uh, microfiber looks like this and it's quite thick and chunky, um, it's just like the standard sort of insert that comes with most things. And bamboo looks a lot thinner and it's sort of a yellow colour and it looks like that. Um, microfiber is really good, it's like absorbs quite a lot fast um, but the thing with it is like the compression on the nappy it will leak so I always put one of these underneath because these don't they're not like they won't compress and they're very absorbent so I usually just put the bamboo on the bottom and the microfiber on the top and then you just stuff it into the pocket basically like that which if you've got a lot of them it can be time consuming and that's probably why I've switched over to using the other ones a bit more but they are a lot better absorbency wise especially if they wet a lot so you just make sure it's all like tucked in and it's all flattened and then, yeah, you just apply the liner on the top as usual and then put it on. And then when they've uh, wet it or soiled it, then you take the liners off as always and get rid of whatever's on it. And then you can just pull and shake the inserts out into the bucket, which, like, if you don't care, you can just grab them and ch ch chuck them in the bucket. Um, but it's whether you, or not you want to touch it, we could just like pinch it out and yeah and then you just throw the pocket in as well once it's clean um, and then you just wash these all together hello Indy so yeah that's a pocket nappy um, which are, I have a lot of those which if you want to buy them I can give to you like including this one as well um, and this one is a two-parter nappy, which at the moment I use only for when he goes to bed because they are really bulky and when he's got it on his legs are like splayed out really far apart. But it lasts him through the night so I'd have to use disposables at night. So you get this part which is a bamboo nappy, which is a top spots one. And it's pretty much like an insert but an entire nappy so it will just absorb everything and it's got a little insert thing in but you can't just use this on its own because obviously it will just soak through completely so you need a wrap on top which is like it's got the pull on the inside which is the waterproof bit so you just put this on and then put the wrap over the top and that will keep him or her dry. Uh, but I, a lot of people use them in the day, but I just think they're a bit too bulky for him because he's quite small. So 
Um, so yeah, there's that option as well. And because your little girl's a bit older than Teddy, she probably does bigger wheeze. So what I was saying was about boosting certain things. So with a pocket nappy, you can just do what you want. Um, if you find that that is not absorbent enough, you could either try two of these instead or put one of these and two of these instead. And you can also get different materials like hemp um, and charcoal bamboo as well, which I think hemp is supposed to be very good. Um, or if you prefer to use these, you can actually boost these. So what I mean by that is you can have a bamboo insert or a microfiber insert, but these are a bit slimmer. Um, and in the back of the nappy, you can open it up and then put this insert in as well, like that, lay it on top, and then just push it back in. So then that's given you a whole new layer of absorbency then, because you might find that it might not be enough on its own and obviously it makes it a little bit bulkier, but these are quite slimline anyway, so it should be okay. And I think that would probably work quite well if you wanted to do that. Uh, they're quite cheap to buy on off eBay, the inserts. <coughs> so... And in regards to the sizes, they're all the same. They've all got the um, the poppers on the front, so you just if I can do it, you unpop them and just adjust it to the size that will fit. Um. If you want me to show you how I wash them and stuff, I can do that when I next do a load. I can film myself uh, with the bucket and what I do to uh, wash it and what wash setting I use and stuff like that. Because washing can be quite confusing because there's so, so many rules about it which you don't know who to believe but it's quite easy once you get into the routine of it. And yeah, I think that's it. And if there's anything else, you can always ask me and I'm happy to help you. So yeah.